Hi, and welcome to SimplyEasyDIY.com. Today's project will be this simple beginner bookshelf. This is going to be a very basic project build. Even if you've never built a thing in your life, you'll still be able to build this. Just a few basic tools will do. A miter saw, a few clamps, some wood glue, a pocket hole jig, some shelf pins, a few one and a quarter inch screws, and some three quarter inch brad nails. You can get the kind that you just hammer in by hand, in which case you also need a hammer, or if you have a brad nailer, you can use that. Let's get started. First, cut the sides to length. Now you have a few options available depending on your comfort level. I recommend using one by fours and gluing them side by side. This is known as edge gluing. An edge glued board tends to be a more stable board, meaning it will not warp as easily than just simply using a single wider board, such as a one by 10. So you've got some work to do if you decide to go the way of the edge glued board. Cut all the pieces to length and then glue three together to get your width. Do that for all four outside pieces. Next, attach the top and bottom to the sides. Don't worry, this part's easy. Drill some pocket holes on both ends of both sides. Three for each should be good. I like to apply glue between the pieces before securing with screws. All right, so now we have four sides of our bookshelf. But right now, it's not gonna be very good at resisting torsion. It needs a back panel to give it some rigidity. So lay the carcass down on what will be its front. Apply some glue along the back edge and tack in place with some brad nails. Both big box home improvement stores can cut this piece to size for you if you don't feel comfortable doing it yourself. Now all we have to do is measure, mark, and drill for shelf pins and add our shelves. And there you have it, a basic beginner's DIY bookshelf for not a lot of money. Apply a coat of paint, maybe a stencil or two, and I promise it'll look a lot more expensive than it really was. Plus, you'll have the satisfaction of knowing you built it yourself. Win-win. Next time, I'll show you how changing just a few small details can improve its design without adding a lot of complexity. Find me on Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, or sign up for email updates whenever new projects are ready to go. Have fun and never stop building.